Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am currently at a gas station, like an hour outside of Atlanta, because we're on our way to fucking Florida, bitch. Um, and I'm so excited because I have been wanting to go, I've not been to Florida since 2019, and Christian has never been to Florida. Um, we're at a gas station, we're all getting gas. And we have about seven hours to go until, until Orlando. So we're gonna be staying three, days in Orlando. So we're gonna go to Disney World, we're gonna go to Miami, and we're gonna have a fun fucking time. I'm very excited. How do you feel about going to Florida? I'm so excited. He's never been, and I think you're gonna like it. Like, I really like Miami, but we didn't want to stay in Miami because it's like really hectic, and it's like a three hour drive from Orlando to Miami, so um, we'll see. I, I booked the hotel last night so if we want to stay longer we might i don't fucking know one of my friends is watching our cats and we're just gonna have a good fucking time i'm so excited the last time i was in miami it was 2018 when i was 18. Um, actually no i was 17 at the time when i went to miami for the first time and me and a group of my friends went to the rolling loud festival and we stayed in like this Airbnb for like a week and it was like so much fun. Like we just brought in like a bunch of weed and like alcohol and just like we went to this festival and just got fucked up and it was magical. And I haven't been back since. And it was, I remember as soon as we got there, like we, we drove my friend's car and as soon as we got there, I, ac I accidentally like locked her keys in her car. So like right off the bat, we had to like, this was in downtown Miami too. Like we had to call a locksmith to open it. And like, I paid for it, of course, but it was like, I felt so bad. <laughs> and that's such like a me thing to do. Like lock my keys in my car. I'm so bad for shit like that. And it's like losing things. Um, we're not gonna do that this time. We have made it to Orlando. This was a fucking 10 hour journey. <laughs> and literally in the car, like on the way here, my Jeep is like very, just like not roomy and comfortable um, at all. If you've ever rode in a Jeep, you know, like a 10 hour drive in a Jeep is kind of like not the funnest, um, but we've made it and I cannot wait to just relax. Um, we just checked into the hotel and it's honestly a nice ass hotel. I didn't expect it to be this like modern and clean and nice in here but it's pretty sick like we got a bathroom over here when you walk in they have the sink like displayed out here and then you come in here and you have like the bedroom area we got two beds for some reason i don't know why hotels do this but getting two queen beds is always cheaper than one king it, like doesn't make sense to me but we got two beds in this bitch <laughs> nowhere i don't know why the fuck i said that we're going to disney springs <laughs> because i love going to disney springs every time i'm in florida i always go it's like this outside like shopping center at disney it's very cute they have good food might get some drinks i don't know but the weather here is so nice like i fucking hate the cold weather and it is like 80 degrees here it feels amazing i changed into shorts I, I never wear shorts, so I'm very happy to be wearing them. And I've got like new tattoos on my legs, so I'm excited to show these bitches off. It's starting to get dark too. And we've literally not ate much food today at all. Um. We've been walking around, doing some shopping. We're about to go in Zara. We just left Disney Springs. I got some clothes. I'll show you guys when we get back to the hotel. But now we are at the biggest McDonald's in America. And I've been here twice before in my life, but it seems like they've remodeled it some since I was here. Like this drive through I don't think was here. And I think they have some new exclusive menu items to this location, like pizza and they have waffles. And that's fucking crazy. So let's go in here and try this shit. We are 
back from the McDonald's. Let me show you guys what I got. So we got, this is pasta. It is chicken pasta. Oh my God, we didn't get any fucking chicken on it. I was about to say, didn't even ask. I'm an idiot. You didn't ask. Well, it's pasta, bitch. It's marinara. Um, green peppers, mushrooms, and then this like pita bread looking thing. It looks good. Like, let's let's just take it in for a second. Smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this because I make a lot of fucking pasta. In fact, it's one of my most cooked foods, as you guys know. And this is smelling right. Like, I would not think this is from McDonald's. Like, if someone gave this to me, I would think that this was from, like, a nice-ass restaurant. And I don't eat McDonald's. Like, I never go to McDonald's. I'm not a fast food person. But if this was at every McDonald's, bitch, I would be there every fucking day. Like, I fuck up pasta. Lastly, we got pizza. McDonald's fucking pizza. I didn't even know that this was a thing. Um, but I'm so excited to try it. I did not expect it to look like that. I don't know why, but wow, it looks good. Like, it looks really good. These are some big, they're big but thin pepperonis. They're like very large. It's like Nick Jonas's nipples or something. Why is that exactly what my brain wanted? Literally. <laughs> that's crazy. Bitch. Yum. Cheers. Cheers. It's good, but it's really thin. Like, really, really thin. It's definitely meant to be folded. It is definitely meant to be folded. Can I complain? Absolutely not. It's it's good. Is it the best pizza I've ever had? Fuck no. <laughs> it's good for what I expected from a McDonald's. Mm hmm I would give that 7 out of 10. I think a strong 7. Anyways, let's try this pasta. You know what I first thought of when I bit into this? Wow. It reminded me of like pasta that like my school would serve. I was about to say cafeteria food. Literally cafeteria pasta. And I'm not being a hate ass bitch. Like I'm a, we're gonna eat all this. This is cafeteria. Or like hospital. Yeah. Like um a fond memory kind of Yeah. Way. It's good. And I honestly don't think anyone could fuck up pasta. Not even McDonald's. No. All right, good morning, you guys. It is the next day. We are at First Watch. This is our favorite brunch spot. We literally, every time we're in a city, we get breakfast here because it's so good. And we don't live near one, so we always take advantage of that. And it's like eight in the morning now, so we're gonna get some food in our systems and some coffee because we're about to drive like three hours to Miami. And I'm so excited to go to Miami. We're gonna swim, have some drinks, eat some good food and enjoy the weather. And I really want to like take the top off my Jeep. So, bro, it's going to be a good fucking day. And I think tomorrow we're going to do Disney. I just really didn't want to walk around. I want to chill today and have like a chill day at the beach. So um, we're waiting on our food. <laughs> okay, guys, you're not like this shit that I do is so stupid sometimes. I just need to tell you about what is happening right now. So, we just, we left Orlando probably like what, 40 minutes ago? 40 minutes ago. And so we're going to Miami, right? I did not fucking know that between Orlando and Miami, there's no gas stations. And I was planning to stop at a gas station on the halfway point because I didn't feel like gas in my car after we left but there's not a singular fucking gas station on this entire stretch of road. There is absolutely fucking nothing. And I'm like, fuck, my gas light went, came on like 15 minutes ago. And the, the handle on the gas thing is like getting below E, like the red thing on the gas, it's below E. And the next gas station is in 11 fucking minutes. So there is a good chance that we're gonna be on the side of the road and gonna have to call for help or something. And here's the good kicker. I have fucking weed. So I'm gonna have to like bury my fucking weed and come back for it because I'm not taking L on this. Um, or I'm just gonna have to like throw it in this fucking like creek or something and get rid of it. In case the, like the police come to help. I don't know what the Florida weed laws are, but I don't think it's good. Or, like, I don't really give a shit. But I'm not, this is not good. <laughs> 
This is not good. It's like literally below the line. So we will update you if we're on the side of the road or if we're at a gas station. Okay guys, so we made it to the gas station. I just filled this bitch up and we didn't have to stop on the side of the road. We didn't have to call the police and we didn't have to hide my weed. So now we're gonna resume our drive. That was like seriously so stressful. I genuinely thought we were gonna be on the side of the road. <laughs> okay, let's go. You guys, we are on South Beach. I just rolled up a nice joint and uh, we're about to go swimming and um, have a good time. We also went to Total Wine and we got some alcohol, so we'll probably have a few drinks on the beach and have a good time. We bought sunscreen too because I get burnt so easily and I'm not gonna get fried because I will like have bubbles on my arms basically if I don't. So I'm gonna spark this on the beach. Yes. <laughs> oh, cut that one in the face. <laughs> Point toward me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Twice coming in, <laughs> This is nice. It is. You guys, the water is a little cold, but it's honestly not that bad. It feels good as fuck. And this is so nice. Especially since it's February. <laughs> So we are at Disney right now. We just pulled in and parked and it's like almost noon. We got here kind of late, um, but here's the plan. We're gonna go in here um, and have a good day, but we're gonna pre-game with some of these buzz balls. We each went and got one. So we're just gonna drink these and then go in here and we'll probably have some drinks in here and shit and uh, ride some rides. I'm really excited. I haven't been to Disney since I was like, it's been over a decade since I've been to Disney and Christian's never, never been, right? Never been. Never been. So this is going to be fun, a fun adventure. Um, so cheers. Let's cheers. fucking get it. This is a strawberry Rita. And this, this is a tequila Rita. Yeah, these are actually good. I like them. I don't really drink them a lot, but. I drank one of these and a couple um, dark rums on the beach the other day. That it was, was crazy. Nice. It was crazy. I loved it. All right, let's get it. Oh. oh my god. That shit had me twitching. How did you do that? Oh. It's just good. That mm. went straight into my soul. <laughs> it's just good. Oh my god. It tastes like... It just tastes like lemonade. Really? Yeah. Sour lemonade. We're surrounded by children. <laughs> But I'm also being sneaky and evil, and I got some some of the same rum that I was oh. having on the beach. Yeah. Are you going to drink that right now? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm about to carry you out of here. Should Ooh. I? What? It's not even that much. I mean, maybe I'm just like lightweight. a lightweight. Do what you want. I had two of these on the beach yesterday. Oh, that's tasty. You want to sip? No. <laughs> It's just so good. It was just like these hit so hard on the beach. Yeah, the beach was so nice. Tomorrow we're thinking about going to Siesta Key. It's like the nicest beach in America with like the whitest sand. And I've never been. I've always wanted to go. And it's on like the Gulf Coast. Yesterday we were swimming in the Atlantic. Um, and it was it was warm. It was like just like a slight chilly, but it was like nothing. It was like really good. Um, but I, I've never swam in the Gulf Coast, and that's where we might go tomorrow. But we'll see. Well, let's go in here. Okay. And. Uh, Let's fuck it up. <laughs> you 
You guys, we're in this bitch. I'm so happy, it feels so good outside. It's so pretty, it's like, it's so amazing. I love this. That buzz ball gave me balls, bitch, because I don't give a fuck about vlogging in public anymore. I'm gonna do it. All right, you guys, we're in the park now. Um, and now that I'm here, it's like bringing back a lot of memories. And like, I'm remembering shit from when I was little when I was here. And it's very nice, it's very, very beautiful. Look at the castle. That shit crazy. This is so nice. I really, I'm excited to um, ride the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. That was always my favorite. I know. We're, we'll have to watch like the Pirates of the Caribbean tonight. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god, we're back at the fucking castle. Oh my god. You guys, we keep fucking up and like we don't know where the fuck we're where the fuck we're at. Let's go back this way. We keep trying to find the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and we can't fucking find it. We just keep walking in circles. Oh my god. I feel so dumb in this bitch. <laughs> Guys, so we just got some hot dogs at this place called Casey's. She looks great. Oh my god. Yo, I did not expect that. I, I was like, what, what is going on? This is a plant-based hot dog. We invite you to enjoy the rest of your magical friendship fair day here at the Magic Kingdom. All right, you guys, so we just left the park and we're going to the Polynesian, we're going to the Polynesian Resort. Um, and we're only going there because apparently you can't really get alcohol drinks in Magic Kingdom unless you sit down at like a restaurant and I'm not trying to fucking do that. And we just inhaled those shaboing boings, so we have full stomachs, but um, our kidneys are empty of alcohol and that needs to change because <laughs> it makes it so much funner. Like I don't need it. It's just like fun. And the resort we're going to um, is over there and we're going to get on this to go there. All right, guys, we're, hi. So we are at the Polynesian. We're going to the Tambu Lounge so that we can get some alcoholic drinks. Oh, I see it, there it is. I got my drink, I got a Bahama Mama. And I feel like I'm in fucking like Hawaii right now. <laughs> this resort is like very White Lotus themed and these drinks were expensive as fuck. Like one of these are $15. Um, but I think it's gonna be worth it because you it's the only like way to get alcohol basically so it's very good more <laughs> oh my god this is so good Bit. You guys, we're kind of just like walking around this resort right now. We're not even staying here. We're just like pretending that we are. And these drinks are so good. It smells really good too. They have like a kitchen or something. This is nice. Okay guys, we have returned back to the Magic Kingdom. <laughs> and I had a Bahama Mama and a, what the fuck did I have? You had a uh, Pina Colada. Pina Colada. Those were so good. They're really expensive, but it's like, it is what it is. It's 60 bucks worth of drinks. 60, 60 fucking dollars worth of drinks. 
Oh my god. It's okay though, because I feel good. Like, I, I wouldn't say I'm like sloshed drunk, but I'm definitely like kind of drunk. You know what I mean? Anyways, we're back in this bitch, and now we're gonna hit the rides. I wanna do Space Mountain. I wanna do goddamn. I don't know what else, but it's gonna be great. So we are going on Space Mountain. I've never been on Space Mountain, but I know it's like an iconic ride. So I'm really excited. This is gonna kick ass. Okay guys, we just left Space Mountain and I don't, we didn't plan to go on that drunk, but we had two cocktails and then went on Space Mountain. It was both of our first times and bro, that shit was so lit. Like, I loved it. I loved it too. I was afraid I was gonna get beheaded because you like, you're in the dark and there's like a bunch of shit over your head. And where I'm really tall, I'm like always afraid my head's gonna get like knocked the fuck off. but. It was a 10 out of 10 ride. So now we are going on this ride called Thunder, Big Thunder Mountain Railway. I don't know, railroad. It looks fun. I've never rode this one either, um, but damn, Space Mountain was so kick-ass, like. Okay guys, we just rode the Haunted Mansion ride and we are leaving. As you can see, it's getting dark out and they have the castle all lit up. It's very pretty, um, but we are hungry and we want to go home. We could jump in the pool at the hotel. Honestly, I'd like that. We could do that. We're, uh, we're going to leave here and get some food. Um, this was really fun though. I had a really fun day. Good morning. So it's the next day. It's actually leap day. It's February 29th. And we're in downtown Orlando um, because we're going to get coffee. I've never been in downtown Orlando. And honestly, I didn't even know there was like a downtown like city-esque part of the city. Um, because every time I'm here, I'm like in the touristy area. So we're here now and it's actually pretty nice. It's cute downtown. It's nothing like crazy, but we're going to this coffee shop. Okay guys, so I'm at 7-Eleven right now. We just went to that coffee shop. It was dumb expensive, of course but it's really good. I got a butterscotch latte and it's fire. Unfortunately, like all day today, it's been really like cloudy and kind of drizzling and raining. Um, I also got a breakfast sandwich from that coffee shop. I got a bacon, it's like a bacon croissant egg thing. It looks really fucking good. There's like eggs on here. When we came back from this fucking coffee shop, we there was a fucking bicycle cop at my car and it said like parking from like certain times so we thought that we were like good to park there but apparently it wasn't and he gave us like a 27 dollars ticket and i literally told him that i wasn't paying it because i'm not fucking paying it in fact every time i get a parking ticket somewhere i never pay it like i don't give a fuck like i will wipe my ass with the ticket um because it's like a scam honestly like what do you mean i was gone for like two seconds fuck your ticket bitch i never pay them this is a good croissant i know that <laughs> 